Hello and welcome to Nintendo Voice, your voice for everything Nintendo. This is episode 112, recorded on the 25th of October, 2017. My name is Lewis Pugh and joining me to talk Nintendo, we have Harrison Milfeld. Hey everybody. And of course, we have Colin Crompton. Hello, yes, I'm here. I'm, hey, how's it going? Reporting in. Report. Good, awesome, there. It's the um, the three of us back again, and we have a pretty traditional show for you. We're going to start off with some what we've been playing. We've got some Nintendo news, so we've got some good topics to go through. Um, we don't have this week. Uh, we do have one in the barrel, so we, we've got one for next week. Uh, but please do send one in, in the barrel. Is that, is that a Donkey Kong reference? It could be. <laughs> got in the barrel. <laughs> it may or may not be Donkey Kong themed. Um, I was saying awesome. more than that. Um, you actually do know what it is. Uh, do send in your super topics. Um, if you don't know what they are, it's essentially like a bonus listener question. Uh, you can suggest any sort of topic for us to discuss, um, or even get a little bit more creative with it. We'll even add a, a game show, essentially, uh, as a super topic one week. Uh, so get creative. Um, go to patreon.com forward slash Nintendo Voice, and you can submit your super topics there and help us uh, support, the, support the show. Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so good stuff. Straight into some what we've been playing, and Colin. <laughs> hey, that's the, 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 the fresh twenty-seven-year-old now, as I see. Uh, exactly. Uh, has growing an extra year changed the games you play? No. <laughs> Is that a thing? Is that a thing I'm not aware of? <laughs> no, it's it's. Nothing's changed. Um, no, I, I'm still. I'm, I'm actually going to do. I'll, I'll do a follow up from last week. So I played some more of the uh, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time randomizer. In fact, Lewis, Lewis uh, stealthed his way onto one of my streams. Uh, well, Stealth? you was yeah. I thought he was encouraged. <laughs> the one the Nintendo Voice account oh. came up, and I was like, "Is either Lewis or Harrison?" I'm going to take a gamble that it's Lewis. <laughs> and it was. Um, yeah. So uh, what did you think of the randomizer that you saw, Lewis? That's good. I mean, because like, that was the first time I'd seen um, the randomizer. Is that, is that his full name? It's like, it's... It's, it's Ocarina of Time Randomizer. It's, it, it's an official... Yeah, it's, it's like Ocarina of Time Randomizer by Finapp31. Uh, <laughs> Or something like that. It's basically guys put his name in the title. Yeah, yeah. but um, yeah. it's crazy. But yeah, what, what I thought. I mean, it's it's pretty cool because I mean, it obviously looks just like Ocarina of Time, but it's it's only when and I guess because I didn't see you play from the very beginning, like I, I got some ideas of what's going on a, mm. a bit earlier, as it were. Like it wasn't like you, that you needed all that you picked up. You opened a chest and you got something you shouldn't have. Yeah. Is that you had items which you don't traditionally have at that point in the game, um, and going places where you shouldn't be able to go as well. Although that might, yeah. I think that's that was it separate. Was that just a glitch? No, no you, 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 you can go. It, it, as, I said, as I said, the thing is, it's kind of like a master master mode. You know, a master mode of a master mode because it, it requires you to. Quest, yeah, master quest was what the original. Master one. quest, yeah. It it kind of requires you to break the game a little bit, like sequence breaking, because you end up with stuff that you're like, oh, okay, I can do Dungeon 2 now, but I can't do the first dungeon, but I need this to do the third dungeon, and you have to, you have to like, sink out of order constantly. Um, oh, it was fun. It's a fun little thing to play with. Um, the best moment I've ever had, though, uh, when you play a bonus song in front of a cow, usually you get a bottle of, well, you get some milk, usually. Yeah. <laughs> in the randomizer I was playing, I got a gold skull teller token every time. <laughs> so I was essentially milking cows for tokens. It was wonderful. Yeah. Um, that was a highlight. But yeah, I, I still have yet to make it to Adult Link. I'm not sure if it's possible. There's always a, like a, you hit a brick wall. You like, I run out of things to get. You know, it's like, okay, I've done this side quest, I've done that side quest. I have no other means of getting unique items to that are randomized. Okay, uh, I'm stuck. So yeah, I remember asking this last time. So I assume 
it is designed in a way that it doesn't put items in places you can't get to. Or is it random? I, I'm not sure, because... <laughs> Uh, so I, I, the guy who did the randomizer in his very long blog post that he made claims that every single game is beatable, just because uh, it, it 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 randomizes the items based on your file name. Yeah. So it, when you put your name in, it basically picks out of a list of, I think it's like thirty six games. It's thirty six random games basically. Okay. Seeds they're called. Um, yeah, and each one's apparently beatable. I have not come across one that I would deem beatable yet. Uh, there's quite a few which I've not even been able to get out of Kakiri Forest <laughs> because I get like I get the hammer and I'm like I can't use that I'm, I'm Young Link. It's like, oh here's the here's the big Goron sword. It's like I can't use that either. You know, <laughs> oh here's the bow. I'm like stop giving me things I can't use. <laughs> you know, and, it's like, and you end up stuck because uh, you can't clear the first dungeon unless you have some sticks and the slingshot. Yeah. And I guess there's only so many ways to acquire items at that Yeah, point. well, there's, there's, there's only so many chests in the village you can open. So it's like, I better pray for bombs. If you can get bombs, you're pretty, you're, you're okay, because you can, actually, reverse, huh? you, you can actually get to the Goron City through the Lost Woods and actually get into Hyrule Field and that kind of sequence breaking. Um, yeah, but I've, there's some games which I'm like, there's no way to break this unless I hack it in the way that lets me get past the person at the gate that lets me out kind yeah. of thing. It's like, I don't count, I don't class that as it being, being beatable. Yeah. It that's, that's like in, um, cheap speed runner type technique. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I, know, I do know a few little like glitches in the game, but I don't know ways of escaping the forest about beating the deck tree, you know, yeah. um, but yeah, randomizer is fun. I'm still gonna keep keep going at it until I find a game that I can actually. I want to hit Adult Link. That's the goal. Yeah. At least in one game, that'd be nice to hit Adult Link. But um, did you maybe want to my next game? Because it's a game yeah. Lewis has played. Yeah, no, no I'm okay. intrigued on this. So jump straight so into it. So I I picked up Stardew Valley on the back of uh, Lewis talking about it. I was like, yeah, I'm actually quite intrigued oh, about this. Mike blowing. Well, you, you weren't overly positive, <laughs> but you weren't overly negative either. And I've heard nothing but positive things about it. So I'm like, hmm. I'm, I'm quite intrigued about Stardew Valley. Um, you know what? I'm going to dive in. And I brought the PC version, even though I think the game's pretty much the same across all versions. It's basically yeah, I, did. I think it's feature. Uh, yeah, so... I, I can totally see what you mean. Like In the first day, you can barely do anything. Because your the stamina bar system they have is quite strict. It, it like knocking down one tree took like a quarter of my stamina <laughs> bar. I'm like, yeah, really? And of course, you've got to clear out this like basically this entire forest inside your farm. It's like I'm going to be here for like a month doing this. <laughs> um, <laughs> but one thing I do like about the game is the progression system. Like the actual like your character starts off basically useless. Mm. But you have a skill tree essentially that levels up okay, as you nice. do things. So the more you cut down trees, the more farming you do, the more fishing you do. These all add up into points that build up these. Uh, basically, um, each time. So yeah, at first you can't do anything, but then by like the fifth day or so, I was able to achieve quite a lot, and that's when the game got really good for me. Um, but yeah, I find the game incredibly charming. Uh, like the you know, the pixel art, the graphics and stuff, it's like incredibly well done. I think for uh, I mean, it's a small indie game, but it's huge. It's not a small game at all. It's incredibly deep. Uh, the farming system is, I mean, it's pretty basic, but there's depth to it. You know, um, yeah, I I just love the freedom the game gives you because it's just like. There's no objective in each day. It's like you get kind of quests, I guess, but they're not like hurried on you. They're not like you have to achieve it by this day. It's just just, just go and have fun in a little village and community. And there's a farm if you want to use it, you know. <laughs> even though it's like it should be the core of the game. Yeah, yeah, but um, not fishing. 
but yeah, it's it's. I think it's probably one of the most relaxing games I've played. Honestly, yeah, I think I can agree with you there. It is a very relaxing game, mm-hmm. um, especially with the music. That is true. Yeah, it's got, almost got like an Animal Crossing type vibe in terms of the times of day and the music. And yeah. Although I am glad it, it like there's the game stops when you turn it off. It's always my issue with Animal Crossing is the game continues after you turn it off. <laughs> and you come back like, where have you been for the last like three months? It's like, it's, oh, has it been that long? Selling point originally. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? But yeah, I, I know. I was never a fan of that. But um, yeah, Starly Valley. If you got a Switch, I, I I'm not sure. I imagine it must control pretty much the same. Yeah, the I, I got no complaints about the controls. I, I did find it a bit odd that there was a cursor there at first, but yeah, sure. yeah. But um, no, I, I recommend it to be honest. About the cursor, uh, how, how much is it on Switch? How much? Yeah. Um, uh, good question. I think over here it was uh, fifteen pounds. Okay, so it's like very slightly more expensive than the PC version, but yeah, still absolutely worth it at that price, definitely. But yeah, oh, no, Slow Valley is awesome. I haven't really put too much time into it, but it's it's really good. Really, really good from what I played. Cool. It's good to get a second opinion of it on the show, to be honest. Yeah. A bit more varied now. Um, and so is that most of what you've been playing? Or is That's it, pretty it, much it? all I've been up to, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Two, game, two games to the table. Uh, Harrison. Yes. Been up to much recently in the world of Nintendo? Uh, well, that Nintendo-centric stuff right now. Obviously, I'm giddy as much as I can about for mm-hmm. um, Super Mario Odyssey this Friday. Uh, I know. Yeah. I, can't wait. I cannot wait for this. So, I mean, <laughs> it, no, it makes me glad that I haven't really watched that much videos of anything. Like I said, oh, wow, you're, Lewis is shoving a, Mar- a Mario figurine <laughs> in the camera just to get me more excited. Wow. This card. He's oh. I need to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> but um no no um like i said i haven't seen any spoilers or anything like that the only videos i've seen have just been the first reveal trailer in january the e3 trailer so um i haven't downloaded the jump up superstar song, song which i ne- is now available on itunes and i'm like have you seen I, the video yeah yeah in a video i've seen that too and it's like when i see that i'm like you guys really need to do this more with your soundtracks too like every one of your soundtracks I, I I feel like you just make a killing doing that. Like, I was lucky enough to get the Xenoblade Chronicles X soundtrack from a friend from who bought, who imported that because that was kind of jumping hoops and hoops trying to find like a RAR file online. But I digress from all of that. What have I been playing? Um, I've been playing a puzzle game on the Switch called Binaries, and um, I'm actually reviewing this too for uh, Pure Nintendo. I'm a little behind because other things in life have kind of been getting in the way at the moment, you know, but um, now for everybody you remember a while back I reviewed a game called 6180 The Moon, which of course a puzzle game that I really, really a puzzle platformer that I really, really enjoyed that took advantage of, was a really good took advantage of the Switch's dual screens now in the case when you binaries, is, as it says in the names is you're dealing with two items and two balls for this one, so you basically control the you you move these you move them all at the same time, but also you use one button to make them jump. So uh, you, the goal of this game is to get these at the end of a checkered portion uh, flag at the end. This is two D, and the colors for these are you know blue and orange. Um, and you go through at least about a mm, hundred, yeah, close to a hundred levels in this game. And it's the type wow. of game that you know you're you're going to be testing a lot of re- reflexes because you're moving these two multicolored ball these two colored balls you know simultaneously so once one you know hits a spike and stuff like that you know it's back to the beginning not the whole oh, yeah. level yeah. but these are these are all one screen levels thankfully so and i will say that that after multiple multiple times of trying to get through all this you will just hate hate just seeing being repeatedly repeatedly hitting spikes and such it's just it's to me i'm like I, I don't. I don't like this as much as I did six one eight. You're the moon, just because I felt there was a little bit more challenge to it. But here, it's more frustration, less than challenge. It, it, like I feel like too much different to it. But here, um, yeah, it's it's a quite little bit. One thing I do see, it litters itself with words, which on the screen, like um, an example could be um, what's the one on here? Um, it could be in the shape of a heart. Shape of okay. like the level shape of heart, and you have to get it to obviously like the checker portion of the level. Um, 
one side of the heart says and it will offer you hints, or they're just nonsense. Like, one will say, got the game's theme yet? And the other side says, it's about love. So, <laughs> I know, I know. It, that's, like, that's, that's good also, actually, yeah. Yeah, but and then there's other ones, like, for instance, um, it's definitely a game, but is it art, question mark? And the bottom uh, screen, the orange is it the really even question. a game? Yeah. So, yeah. but binaries, that's what I've been up to right now. So, um, not sure if I may return to it. I mean, I'm not going to return to Butcher, so that's one that I've... Because <laughs> I think I'm just trying to get this out of the way before Mario Odyssey, so... <laughs> uh, that sounds, that sounds interesting, actually. Um, it sounds a bit rage-inducing, though. It's like you make one mistake and it makes you do like... Whatever. I know, and I will say, if you're really wanting a good puzzle game like that, either go with Pacross S, or even if you're not going to have Pacross, just, just go... Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm not going to stop here anything. Stop you anything, but I just feel like there's better options out there. Oh, no, definitely. Sounds good. But for myself, I don't really have anything new to talk about, per se. Um, I've not, although I was debating, I've not yet picked up um, Fire Emblem Warriors. Ooh, um, I will be soon. But it was really a choice between that and Odyssey, which comes out in just a few days. So, yeah. Odyssey Mar- Mar- Mario Kai wins that battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mario wins that battle. Although I am, I am liking the look of Fire Emblem Warriors. I think it's a game I will sink a lot of time into. Um, but what I've been playing currently is a mixture of things. Uh, so I'm still going fairly strong at Splatoon 2. Um, I'm kind of fighting in the A-plus ranks. Um, uh, did you take part in the last uh, Splatfest last weekend? Uh, we didn't. We had um, different Splatfest, oddly. We, we went back to regional, so oh, yeah, the last yeah, one... We weren't a part of. We did the the great debate over which side the toilet roll should be. Oh, you guys <sighs> did that too. Well, that's yeah. the one we did. We didn't do the most recent. That was our most recent. Mm. Mine was werewolf and vampires, and of yeah. course, I liked Nintendo's tweet when it re- when it revealed the results because you had the three sections on there, like you know, team and multiplayer, and then overall, <laughs> and the count voice from from uh, Sesame Street. The tweet said like it's like three. Ah, ah, three wins. <laughs> I was like, oh god, <laughs> that's awful. So, yeah, that, that 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 toilet roll, fat fest is yeah. the worst. Like, come on, that is like the worst. I think that's agreed on. Yeah, I don't think there's a worse that's, that's one. That's rock bottom, surely. Like, crap. We need an idea for a splat fest. Some guys like, I'm gonna go to the toilet. I'll be right back. Is yeah, it better or worse? I, I, have I, I, have, I have the idea. I have the idea. It like, comes right at the bathroom. I've got it. <laughs> It's <laughs> like really, uh... yeah. So I've been playing a decent amount more Splatoon two. Um, I've always been playing more of Arms, uh, which had an update recently, and it Ooh. has the badge system now. Uh, it also has a new boss character, which okay. I've yet to face, and I have been trying. Um, I was under the impression it was a playable character. No, not, not yet, at least. He's oh, definitely okay. just a boss character, so Springtron, the, like, metal version of Springman. Um, right. okay. you, you, apparently you face him if you, from what I've gathered, there's mixed um, responses on this around the web so far, but you need to do uh, ranked mode, or sorry, Grand, Grand Prix level 5 or higher without losing a single round. Oh, it's arms becoming like Mortal Kombat in terms of like the hoops you need to jump through to fight bosses. Potentially, you know what I mean? It's like ridiculous. Like, and that, that is quite off. the feat. I, I've put a decent amount of time now. I've not been able to do that without losing a single round yet. I've come close, uh, but yeah, it's just, you know you lose that one, and then it's that's your whole run. Yeah, so you got over. Yeah. You obviously got like just if you're not like losing any, you've got two or... rounds over. You know, seven. Different matches altogether, or ten even. Um, so yeah, arms is good though. Um, I, I do like the new bad system. What's quite handy is that if you had been playing it before it was introduced, um, certain of them at least are backdated. And so, as soon as the feature came out, I got a load of badges. Cool things I had already done. I'm glad I did that. Yeah, and you get like a in-game money reward for it. And so I had all this virtual money to spend in the arm oh. shop. Which is, which is quite nice. Huh. Had a couple of grand of arms cash. I, yeah, I haven't yet to play arms right over the new update yet, but I really need to take a dive into it. So, mm. 
Yeah, and the other little thing which it introduced is um, on the replay side, it actually saves Lama the Last quite a lot, about 20 odd or so replays just automatically. Okay. And so just as the replay section on the main menu, you go into that as, oh, well, your last 20 matches, you can view any of the replays. So if you've got a particularly tasty KO, you can save that. Uh, well, you, you can kind of now, although we'll get onto that later. There's no right. way to actually save them. Okay. But it, there's there's an area which will show you like the last 20. So you, you can go through like a Grand Prix or have some on... Um, actually, I'm not sure it works for online matches because you don't usually get replays from them. Um, mm. But you could say do a full Grand Prix and then afterwards go, okay, let's... Match number five. Whereas normally you would have to just watch it there and then and move on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a cool little thing. But yeah, it works quite well in conjunction with one of the new features, uh, which to be, we, we can jump into that now, really, because they've taken up the main of my time. I've done a bit of uh, here and there on Picross uh, S, um, and I think I've played a bit of Overcooked recently as well. Oh, Overcooked. Overcooked is a great game. Still, I can still confirm that fact. <laughs> I, I'm still not entirely sure how it scales in terms of the amount of people you have. Um, or if it does or not, like if it, if it's just harder, to, you know, with fewer people. I think it requires more coordination, surely. But yeah, but you only you still if you're playing it one person, you only have one chef. True. Whereas a you know a, a well skilled four player team can do, get a lot more done than one person running around. Yeah, but a, a bad four person team would just be like messing things up. I guess you get a lot of wasted orders and things like that. So. I, it could work both ways. That's true. But yeah, let's jump into the news now, because there's something obviously I want to talk about, and it's top of the list, so it's okay. Right. Um, so the first piece of Nintendo news we have is about the recent uh, Nintendo Switch OS update. Uh, it's now on version 4, with its new features, including video recording. Um, mm. uh, you can now transfer... Finally, finally. Yeah, don't worry, we'll, we'll get back to it. Um, uh, also, you can now transfer your saves and your game data from one system to another. Um, there are some new avatars to pick from um, on your the custom avatar. Um, and uh, there was an update so you could do um, wireless headsets, I believe, or USB wireless headsets. That, that was a, that kind of caught me off by surprise because when mm -hmm. I first heard about it, I was like, oh, wow, they, they actually fixed voice chat. Like, no, um, mm -hmm. it, it, there was a catch to it. So... Um, I believe it's um, how how does it work? Whatever it's like, you can technically use a wireless head like a wireless headphones, for instance, and listen yeah. on the switch. I mean, technically, it would work. I mean, it is compatible with headsets in a way, but I mean, just the way the voice chat is currently, it does feed it through the phone. So, but if any software did use um, the internal, actually, no, the switch itself doesn't have a mic, does it? No. Yeah. Part of the thing, but yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it would have access to that stuff, but it, it all depends on how Nintendo carries on with their um, voice chats stuff. Mm -hmm. But let's let's dive. Well, and I guess the other thing which came with this, well, it wasn't documented at the time, uh, is that the GameCube controller adapter now works <laughs> since it's version four. Blow my mind that they brought that back. If you, 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 you can't see me. For those who are only listening to audio right now who can't see me on there, um, I'm rubbing my hands together like, it's all coming together now. It mm. is. It's all falling into place. Oh. Yeah, you can play with, I believe, up to the um, uh, the eight GameCube controllers it supports. Oh, well, that, that pretty much confirms it for me. And basically, they, they work as you would expect. So the, but the buttons are mapped as per the letters of the new console, new controllers, I should say. Um, the, the caveat there being is that if a game requires a button it doesn't have, like the ZL, uh, it just won't be able to use it. Um, but yeah, a, any game where the, the buttons are fine, uh, you can play with game controllers now if you've got a GameCube USB controller the, the, adapter. The, 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 let's face the facts here. They All made right. this available because they're working on Smash Deluxe Edition or whatever they're going to call it. Yeah, are facts? that's pretty much what's going on. Yeah, I think I think the internet would agree with you. I mean, it has to be. I mean, why yeah. else would they? I'm I'm for it because it's just well, 
th- this may just hint at GameCube games on the virtual console. But then again, as well, it's very much what we could probably see that's going to be going with Smash, though. I mean, it, it is pointing signs to it. I mean, they just can't just put it there for no reason. There yeah. has to be something more to it. But um, but as you were saying, uh, Colin, sorry about that. <laughs> no, that's fine. I mean, as you say, GameCube support that would be huge. I mean, that obviously that would be yeah. I, as long as it's handled well, I, I don't want like GameCube support to be like. And here's like I think it's like N64 support in the Wii was like awful. It's like oh, and here's two GameCube games, and we're out. You know, it's like that's it. So I guess we'll wait and see. But yeah, yeah. I mean it's cool. And GameCube controller is still one of my favorite controllers. So yeah. oh no, I re- I love it's a cool I thing love... to see on there. Oh, no. Um. Oh. But what about the other up? I mean, overall, for I know we were wanting to talk about the other updates on here, but I mean, the thing that's the big thing here is it's you know video capture. Really, yes. I mean, it's just finally. I mean, and I think it was as predicted as by most of us or even anybody out there. It's like how would they use it as far as one button? Obviously, I think it was no surprise. Just you hold down the capture button, and it will capture like the last thirty seconds of your own footage, which. I know there's people like very upset about you know, 30 seconds, which I think even Nintendo said, yes, there's a likelihood that this will increase in the future. So, um, and I tried to use it with binaries, but it turns out you can't use it with any, you can only use it with a few compatible games. Yeah. Oh, Cur- really? Cur- currently, there are four compatible games as of this moment, which are Splatoon 2, ARMS, Mario Kart um, 8 Deluxe, and Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I'll assume fi- I, I will assume maybe Fire Emblem Warriors was part of that because I saw people recording thirty second bits off that. Ooh, um, okay. I think I wasn't aware of that. Although technically the four update dropped before Fire Emblem Warriors, so it might have been the because I, I remember there definitely was four they named saying these are the compatible games. Um, I, I think we may just see updates to other games um, fairly soon to help support this, and basically any game from now on will have it. I don't think it's a deliberate I hope reason. So, I don't want it to be a restriction. Yeah, I don't think there's a deliberate reason for it to be these four. I think it's just there needs to be some sort of software hook from the game to the OS. Because it is, it, I mean, the Wii U suffer from this a little bit with Meverse. Like some games you could post like photos, some games you couldn't. Hmm. And it's weird like that. It's like, oh, okay, that's strange. Um, yeah, very bizarre. I, I, I do think, um, I, I do think that, um, It'll be easily. I think something like this will be easily patched up, maybe. But then again, as you know, Lewis said it does. You have to go through the whole system and what the game actually wants to entail and actually work with. But mm-hmm. um, I did read though about once this came available, it, Breath of the Wild. Like uh, Kotaku had an article about this, how it got a, like a second wind, almost. Mm-hmm. Like people were going back to record and show them their process. Like people who are able to do it when they didn't have like, oh, I don't have a capture card to actually put this. Now I can record these 30 second bits in Breath of the Wild I want to show you. So I wonder if Nintendo will ever go all out and implement a stream feature. Just so they can compare with what PS4 and Xbox One can do. Yeah. I don't think they will. I think that's a bit of their comfort zone. But I think maybe. I think they may. But if they do, it will be like in um but wouldn't they go against their um Mm, that's where I'm going with this. Yeah. Wait, what are you saying? Wait, what are you saying that if they are you trying to connect the fact that like the YouTube usage that this is why it's going to be bad or like? I mean, well, yeah. as long as lines, I, I'm, I'm just free program, yeah. 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 The way I'm I think you would do it is, um, uh, you know how Mario Kart Eight had that limited YouTube feature. Yeah, right, so Mario Kart TV. Yeah. And and what it did um, is. Well, one of the things it did was it, it did pre-mark them as, as, you know, Mario Kart videos and such. Uh, but I think they would go a step further as if they would do a streaming thing. Um, in a way, it would be baked into their creative program. Um, it would have to have changes because you can't just have a, a whole channel thing. But I think they would mm. do like a per video thing. Like if you upload it in this way, as if you stream it from the console, um, you are essentially agreeing to this ad split. Like, it's the only way to do it. Uh, but it would just be hidden in the terms. But I could see them do that in the future. Yeah. yeah. Well, the okay. thing is, though, I you can't natively stream via the Switch. Like, well, well as in, not, like... Not currently, no. Currently, yeah. So it's 
I mean, unless you have capture technology and stuff, whatever. I mean, it's a native. Sorry. Yeah, so. Um, no, no, I'm just, um, it's a yeah, little, yeah. like, I, I like the, again, video and everything like that. Um, what other stuff that we mentioned? Um, yeah, so the uh, other new thing is, like, the, the save transfer, which is essentially, like, the system transfer, um, which, obviously, the Wii U and the 3DS has. If you buy a new one, you can chuck all your stuff from one machine to the other, uh, because that wasn't a feature before. That's, it's one of those uh, things that you kind of need to have. We're just moving ever so slowly to the uh, cloud, like uh, to the um, universal, like unified account system. Yeah. I don't know. Yep. It's uh, we're not by twenty nineteen. We'll get there. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So maybe we shall see. Um, and the other, other little bit was um, the new avatars. Not too huge amount to discuss there. I think they added some from Mario Odyssey. And some new Breath of the Wild ones, I believe. Yeah, the champions I saw in there, I think, were a few. Um, I'm shocked they actually don't do this more often with major releases from their, their games. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah. I mean, I know this is for Breath of... Like, I think they have Mario Odyssey ones on there, too. Yeah. And with the second version of the um, DLC, the Champions Ballad, coming out, which I'm assuming soonish, but then again, it could be January as a bit. I, um, I don't know. I just feel like wouldn't it make sense for them to release that out there, but... The, yeah, they, they might start doing it at a quicker pace, but they, that's kind of what they have done. I think they've only done it twice. They did one with basically around Splatoon 2's launch, which added some more Splatoon 2 uh, characters, or Splatoon characters, and again, here with Odyssey. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, whenever they do a big game, they'll chuck in some avatars for it. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. So that, that kind of covers the, uh, the Switch 4 updates. And um, well, apart from another little detail, uh, is it is a little one in the um, your profile where you see how long you've played each game for. Mm -hmm. um, they've put more detail for basically before any game you played for under five hours, it would just say played for a bit. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and then when, when you hit that five hour mark, it would then say in five hour increments, oh, you've played five or more hours, ten or more, fifteen or more, twenty or more. I, I, well, I, that, that, why though? Why does it need the five hour? Because yeah. the Wii, the Wii was capable of keeping track of like every game you played. Like, okay, you played for two hours. You played for like thirty minutes. Yeah, and on the 3DS. Yeah. The Wii U, in a sense. It's just like I'm doing it. Yeah. So <laughs> you, 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 it, it, you still have that five hour increments for everything over five hours, uh, but up to five hours you have one hour increments, oh. which is nice. So say if you played it for you know an hour or more, two hour or more, etc. Mm -hmm. Which is actually quite handy because there's a bunch of like uh, indie games or just smaller games where I've not put five hours in, but I have put you know hours in, and it's nice to see those numbers there opposed to just a little I mean, bit next to them. <laughs> and quite a few games though, when you load up a save file, it tells you in game how long you've been playing it, so it kind of feels like some, but not all. And it's nice to see them all you know next to each other. Sure, sure. In the order yeah. you've played the games in as well, mm -hmm. which is cool. A nice little detail. Um, the next piece of news we have, however, uh, is kind of a new announcement. Um, Shin Megami Tensei Five has been confirmed for the Switch, uh, which is the Shin Megami Tensei project they announced previously in the January event, yep. um, which didn't give it a name. Uh, so yeah, that is Five, and it's going to be Switch exclusive, which is pretty big I'm not news. Too, I'm not too surprised. For the market. That it's should we go to do five because of the whole like oh it's our 20, 20, 20th year or twenty fifth year that it shows in the trailer. I was like okay, yeah, so it's it gonna be a like big, celebration yeah. type trailer, wasn't it? Like the history yeah. series. So it's like mm, it's gonna be something big. The fact that it's switch exclusive is pretty cool. Mm. I wasn't expecting that. And then again, four so was three DS. Yeah, but for three DS, but it's cool. Yeah, having it a con well, console mm. game as well as being a handheld yeah. game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be cool. It's at this, so it's gonna be good. Um, um, uh, bigger home for more some good JRPGs out there. Um, I really wanted to get around to actually playing a little more of uh, the fourth iteration, which is on the 3DS, and it's been always on sale a lot too. So yeah, and if you were to catch it in there, I mean, for I mean a deep, deep like a uh, JRPG experience like this one, you know, give it a shot if you're into it. So. I mean, fun um, fact about Shin Megami Tensei 4 on 3DS, it came out in Europe, I think, eight months after it came out in the, in the Americas. There was a huge gap in between the releases. We got it on a huge discount. Ours was permanently priced at like $14.99 instead of it being a full price game. Mm. 
Yeah, that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Well, no, I guess knowing right now where at least most of these releases, major releases that we're getting right now, uh, Europe, Japan, the US, we're actually getting them on majority on the same day. Too. Absolutely. So, that's well, great. Yeah. That's good. Okay. And the next piece of news we have um, is a piece of news which came out of interview. Uh, it's with uh, Shun Nakamura, who's a game designer and producer over at Sonic Team, uh, mm -hmm. added his, I guess, his thoughts of some of the Amigo and uh, potential future. Uh, he hints that, well, I say he hints, he would... He says he would like to make uh, another entry in the series, and he would like it to go on the Switch. Um, and I just want to read this little quote here uh, from the interview. Uh, so in the context, he's talking about um, Sam and Amigo on Switch. I really, really want to make it. This is coming from someone who had to make physical items you had to buy and plug into your console in order to play Sam and Amigo at home. When the Wii came out, there was only one Wii remote, and you had to buy another one. You can still do it, but it's a bit of a hurdle to get over. The first time I saw the Switch, I thought, oh my god, this is it. <laughs> you don't have to buy another, another peripheral. You don't need to buy another controller. I'm really, really interested in that. Oh, oh my god. I, 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 reading that, I love that aha moment, whatever. And <laughs> God, just to think it's like, you could actually do it. it it's almost... It's almost kind of like when you it's have the, the Wii Mote. <laughs> yeah. I, I know. It's like people were thought like the Wii Mote, for instance, when they looked at it, like, "Oh man, we could, we could use a lightsaber game out of this." You could, you yeah. know, if it never came to fruition. Not unless you count, not that much, unless you count. Um, fortunately, it was pretty decent on as a port. But mm. here though, it's um, uh, I'd like to see it on here. I would. I mean, there's a yeah, small. It'd be a good fit, as he mentions. It's a niche, but yeah, but still. Also, can I say? Did anybody when I? When I was actually typing the notes out for Samba de Amigo, my uh, WordPress, ex my uh, <laughs> Google Docs decided to correct it and say, like, are you sure you meant Amiibo? <laughs> and I'm thinking a good title for this. Amiibo, hey, mm -hmm. hey, it could, it could tie in. Uh, no. <laughs> every, every time I mention about Amiibos to Colin, you just, like, it is a bane of your existence. Um, well, I, I get more and more just... I, I fear for mankind whenever I hear about Amiibo, it's the worst. It's the last one standing, Colin. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, um, what we could about, like, no, I guess, I, I hope, I hope we actually see something like this. I mean, with the Wii era, we did get, you know, a sequel to Nights into Dreams, which I never did play. I was happy that it was on there, but, um, mm. although. Yeah, I mean, that was Amigo, I think I never played it. I've held the maracas, though, if that counts. <laughs> Explain yourself. It count. Yes, it counts. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's the game in a nutshell, right? Just hold the maracas. Um, yeah, that's as far as I got with the game. Um, I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, in a way, like, as he mentions, because you don't have to buy anything, I mean, you, you could do... Oh, a, but you, a, you know they'll release, like, special ones that you can, like... Oh, possibly. <laughs> special <laughs> cases. Joy-Cons that shake like maracas. So right that's what the... the HD run books for it will simulate oh, work for you. No. But in addition to that, because yeah, because you don't have to have a physical thing, it could be a more simple digital only release mm -hmm. for the Switch. Like, that could make it a more possible um, thing, which actually happens <laughs> in today's world. Um, let's jump onto our next bit of news. Uh, this one. If you're not listening live, you may already know what this is all about. Uh, but we had a, had an announcement for an Animal Crossing Mobile Direct uh, in just a few hours, basically. Yep. Um, in about six hours ish from so, yeah. live. Um, here. it will be ten. It's it's currently uh, six fifty two here in my place, so about three hours. It's going to be it. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It's uh, for it's for Wednesday at eleven p.m. Eastern Time, eight p.m. Pacific. So that's when it will be. Um, but yeah, um, I'm. I was getting worried about this, though. For Well, not worried, wondering when we'd hear more about Animal Crossing Mobile or if it was just going to be pushed back up until, like, 2018. So, as it's just doing everything to possibly just milk more money out of me right now. I'm like, oh, dear. And it, and it couldn't have come out of time right now because I just got a new phone. Like, everybody knowing, I finally upgraded my phone. So, yep. yes, I can now... 
I can now actually play Fire Emblem Heroes and everything like that. So, mm. but to me, it's just um, I don't know. But uh, this is gonna be fifteen minutes long, correct? I, think. I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So fairly, fairly short. So um, what exactly we might be expecting out of this one, though? Happy I Home think... Designer Mobile Edition. Oh dear. Is, is, is that genuine? I mean, it could be. It could. Be. If it is, then no. No. no come well, on. What, what do you want, Colin? Then? Well, Animal Crossing is one of those games. I mean, people say it's like the perfect download title. I feel when it, especially when it came on 3DS. Mm-hmm. I it's like, agree. Download Good it on the system because you need it on the system at all times. So yeah, it'd be perfect for your phone if you can access it at any time and check on your village or whatever. But I just got a feeling they're going to do something different with it, and it's not going to be the full Animal Crossing experience. No, I don't think it's going to be a full Animal Crossing experience. Well, um, it would work. I mean, you would, yeah. I mean, buying furniture, like, with microtransactions and stuff like that, it's, it's just perfect. Gonna be touching uh, around the area, pulling weeds and co- collecting bells, and then it's just going to have Tom Nook, you know, just egging you on about that, and he'll say something. That'd be, but How would I, I handle I, Mr. Assetti's mind? Oh, I was just about to say that. Um, <laughs> now, it's apparent now. Maybe if you um, hit the, the app crashes. <laughs> yeah, the app crashes. Yeah, it crashes. Or somebody tech, or somebody texts you during the middle of the like when a conversation. Yeah, that would be cool. Can I help you? Somebody uh, showing you about your priorities. Uh, <laughs> uh, but no, yeah. um, I'm that's sorry. what I want to see. I want to see Rossetti. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a game about Mr. Rossetti. Oh no, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so like, just like, yes, game of the year. He needs an interesting operation. So it could be you, you're Mr. Rossetti, and you have to um, look after essentially all these villages, um, and you have to make sure the people are punished efficiently. When they reset, yeah. Yeah, you got to make sure you, you, know, you catch that and give them a bad day, <sighs> and you get choices in dialogue, and you get a skill tree. <laughs> it's still not a good, that's not a good game. No? No. All right. Okay. Fair enough. The I think the Adventures of Mr. Rossetti is not something that's going to scream out of the absolute. Well, Tingle's Rosie Ruby Land is a game that exists. So why can't Mr. Rossetti get some equal love, <laughs> as it were? What? If, if the, in some reality that is actually a mobile title, in some alternate reality. Fair enough. I'll okay. accept that. Um, I don't think it's going to be full fledged, but I I think it might be. Something which is not too far off either. So I, I think we, it's possible we could see, you know, a more like it sounds a bit harsh, but like a more genuine effort to make a more standalone type of experience, opposed to just more of a uh, like a side type thing. So I, I think we could almost see a full Animal Crossing, um, but it, it would be tailored to the phone. Uh, but I, I think we could have the whole yeah, you ma- you know, you manage your room and your village and. You talk to the animals, and you can fish, and you can uh, do all I that mean, stuff. There's definitely got to be a thing where it's like you buy furniture sort of stuff with microtransactions. I just that's just so perfect. Yeah. You know, or it could just be as simple as you don't buy anything, anything direct, but you can buy bells, you can buy packs of bells. Yeah, yeah. And that would, you know, uh, well, and like in theory, like it, you know, you could keep the original game design as is, um, but you then also have the option if you want. To kind of splurge your own money, just throw money at it, so you can buy everything in the store which you just wouldn't anyway, wouldn't normally, and then cry afterwards about why you did that. So, yeah, I did ask for um, people's comments and thoughts about the Animal Crossing, in, the incoming Animal Crossing direct from the live chat. I got, I got a few. Cool. Uh, Andy Searson, um, I actually don't know a few simple things to release date. No transactions, very doubtful, haha. Oh. <laughs> but mainly, I I want it to not always be connected. I spend a lot of time on different transport where connections aren't always available, and the heat I can't play Mario Run, etc. Uh, That's a fair got, point. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Any anything which deals with like micro transit, mm. yeah, micro transactions today usually is also always online. Always online. Just just to kind of crib the. Uh, the hacking aspect. Yeah, but I, um, I mean, it does things that you need to manage. Like, you know, I've got an internet connection. Uh, yeah, a lot of mobile games are just like that. So I, I wouldn't put it past me. It wouldn't be like a, a very radical move in that sense. Like 
yeah. yeah most i feel most mobile games are you know have to be connected all the time and it's you know the ones which aren't are the ones yeah. which add it as a bullet point to the feature list <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> yeah um yeah, yeah it'll be online mostly that's your thing. and it's definitely gonna have microtransactions sure. oh without a doubt i mean i mean that's the question i mean could they possibly drop like uh, and like maybe way they justify it to themselves yeah we're gonna, we're doing a full-fledged animal cross experience on the phone yeah we're still going to make them normally but this is one tailored for the phone yeah and they'll, it's, they'll charge and it's you 20 19... quid or it's 30 quid yeah i'm saying it's, like, it like, it's like 30 quid then yeah then i can and, they, and they make a thing about it no transactions no ads this is it everything could, could Nintendo pull that off? No. No? No. I'm not even... I think maybe. It's just not what people with it's... phones look at, though. Yeah. They won't know much wrong. I get a free game and then be like, okay, I'm, I'll, I'll throw a few oh. quid in it. Or yeah, whatever the currency is. It's... Mm. <sighs> 30 pounds for mobile games? Mm. Or That's even 20 pounds. It's ten pound or ten dollars for Mario Run, Super Mario Run, mm. and so I'd imagine they would want it significantly more than that because if they are doing a in quotes full Animal Crossing game, yeah, Mario is definitely not a full Mario game in that sense. No, exactly. Yeah, I don't. They don't want to ruin the. Uh, they don't want to hurt Animal Crossing. You know, it's like the way it's perceived as a mm. series. Oh, now it's downgraded to a mobile game, but it's still the full thing. It's like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. Next comment, Andy Searson. Um, I spent a lot of time on... Oh, well, we just did that one, sorry. We just did that one. Next one is Laser Show. Cool. I, want, I want to see Animal Crossing say that the mobile game uh, will relate directly with the Animal Crossing that is coming to Switch in 2018. Ooh. That'd be interesting. So do you reckon, like, they, they've kind of restated that this direct is just for the mobile game, but do you think we could see, like, a name drop as such? Like, it will hmm. connect to Animal Crossing for Switch. And that's... It'd be kind of cool, actually, if, like, this... Like, you know, like, Minecraft has, like, has, like, that creator mode. That's just for mobiles. Yeah. If, like, this is what that, the Animal Crossing game is going to be, and then it, you actually you take whatever you've done in the game and you can just transfer it straight to the... The full mm. I'll be on board. Yeah, for that. so it could just be like a different location, or like yeah. this, this could be your the holiday home or something. This is where you can gather resources, so then yeah. you you can transfer those to yeah the bank. Or even, yeah, or even like the farm, as it were. And, yeah, and then when the full game comes, your same character can go back and forth. Um, and yeah, any money you earn in one, you can take over to the other sort of thing and items. Mm. That yeah, maybe, cool. maybe it can connect in that way. Um, and I believe a final one we've got is it is from Andy Sis. <laughs> uh, just drop it today, and we have a couple of days to start before Mario. I I don't doubt that. <laughs> they might yeah. do. Well, do you think they think they'll pull that trick? Like I mean, it's, it's, it's one, it's one they can pull. It's possible to pull that trick in mobile. Yeah, it's true, but. I... I kind of feel like they want to build up the hype for it a little bit, like yeah. they have with the Fire Emblem and the Mario Run. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I, I, think, I think it'll be another app, another game you can pre-order on the, uh, uh -huh. the stores, as it were. It'll be featured on both. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's the other question. Um, and it's one that I've assumed the answer to, but do we think there will be any sort of exclusivity for this app, uh, for Animal Crossing Mobile, as time, in or like, otherwise, as for in iOS or Android or such. Every timed, I would think, but timed. I think they'll do the same thing what they do with Fire Emblem Warriors. Well, that was timed for Android, oddly. Mm. Uh, and Mario Run was timed for you know Apple. Mm. So I wonder if this is not timed at all, or it's time for one of them. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. Either way. Either way. It'd be timed, but I, I think it'd be timed. You're, yeah. That's, that's, that's the platinum they've had so far, so... True. Stick to it. Okay. Cool. Maybe it's working, because it wouldn't have done it with Fire and Warriors, so... Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
Um, I think that pretty much covers it. I mean, anyone want to give any like bold predictions of what we're going to see of this? I mean, we've got a quite a narrow window what to expect. Um, to, e- to echo a tweet I saw, a uh, tweet I recently saw, it's, uh, what did it say? Oh, it said, Animal Crossing Direct is over. Then there's somebody else like, yeah, but um, what about Smash? <laughs> There, that's your prediction. <laughs> That'd be funny. Um, yeah, I, I, I just hope it's not like, as I said before, the Happy Home Designer mobile edition. That'd be the worst thing they could do. It wouldn't surprise me if that was the case. But... It wouldn't surprise me either, but I, I don't want it to repurpose either. that thing. I mean, to be fair, I think it actually did quite well. Um, it definitely yeah, sort of that's, that's what worries me. <laughs> yeah, they're quite well. And they're like, this is what people want. It's like, no, we want proper Animal Crossing games. But Animal Crossing has had a bit of a rough treatment as of late. Yeah. But the, the side games, the mini games. Mm. Which is yeah. also the, the you know entire catalogue of its side games. <laughs> so it doesn't have a good side game rep currently. Hopefully mobile will change that if that can be considered a side game. We, we shall see when we know what that is. We shall see. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's jump over to jump over. To our next bit of news, uh, the Nintendo Switch has now surpassed 2 million units sold in the US. Um, and it outsold both the PS4 and the Xbox One uh, for the fifth time in its seventh month of release. It's, it's still got that momentum going, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah I, this is, um, this is I'm good. trying to think, like, what does this... Um, let's put it like it's worldwide sales at um, around... Um... Yeah, we're not having an official number in quite some time, but... You have to guess it's around the five or six. This was last yeah, month. Uh, we'll, we'll know about the earnings next Monday, I think. But Ooh. last time I saw it was near five million. Mm. And I know some people would like try to downplay this and like, oh wow, compare this to like the PS4, which you know did great numbers, but they did. But the thing with this is, this is doing this in a non right before its first holiday. Oh, yeah. Definitely, and like oh, Mario Odyssey definitely. is just a few days away, as it were. Yeah, um, and I know some. You can still find a good switch around there. I mean, in my local Target, I've seen at least ten, and then they've been gone, and then they've been slowly but surely been restocked. So, I wouldn't say the shortage is actually the shortage is no more, but it's again, like I said in the past, the real test is going to be what's going to be like, you know, for holiday and beyond. Yeah. Because I will say this year one has been incredible. It has been incredible for indie titles. Hey, well, it's still been incredible for first party titles. First party alone is. But we've got Mario and Zelda. And it's not even the first year, it's the first yeah, like you seven months. Complain about that, you know, it's like, wow, this is... and we got an announcement from Metro Prime 4. So it's like. And also, yeah, just for me personally, like you didn't even mention like, like both Arms and Splatoon 2, both games I've yeah. bought loads of time and think are great releases. Mm-hmm. It's insane. Uh, and there's lots on the outskirts, you know, there's Marion Rabbids, um, not played it yet, but Fire and Warriors looks pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and then everything else in between. It's Xenoblade 2. There's a yeah, lot of things good. coming. Yep. Um, I was. I, I think the one thing on the sale, like on when it comes to software, though, and the one that I had my eyes on was to figure out it was um, Samus Returns sold sold well on the 3DS since debut here in the US. Yeah, so that is good. Cool. Number eight, number eight on there. Um, uh, but no, looking as far as here, like uh, the, the the top games here for were like Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle was at number seven. But this Breath of the Wild was number ten. Mario Kart Del- Del- Deluxe was at number eleven. I know. Sorry if I was cutting you off there, Lewis. I feel like I was stealing your job there. <laughs> but yeah, we'll barrel is going to come out. We'll, we'll destroy oh, the sales of other games. Yeah. Odyssey, Odyssey, we'll... And that's just a game which is going to keep on selling, but especially through the Odyssey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's Mario, Mario's Evergreen. That, that, that Switch bundle, I think it's going to do very well if they can keep that thing in stock. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's going to do. I That and the Splatoon one over the, like, with the Black Friday deal, it's going to do. Oh, gosh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's going to do so much Game Busters. I think it is. <laughs> I hope, I hope. Yeah. I mean, I'm fanboying here. <laughs> yeah, I think they're going to have that Jump Up Superstar commercial going on stop. Oh, <laughs> I think they're going to, re- in, you know, not that they ever, you know, shy away from big Mario releases, but I think uh, both Mario Odyssey and the Switch together, they're really going to shout about um, and not shut up for quite some time. Um, in the best possible way. Uh, I think they know what they've got on their hands here. And yeah. it seems to have captured everyone's imagination before the games even come out. Mm-hmm. And yeah, they've, you know, it's, it still impresses me what creative things they are showing with it. Um, yes. And 
hope hoping there's you know a lot more you know yet to be shown in that way. But even just a style like that recent you know uh, uh, jump up superstar commercial, just like you know the creative direction behind just you know even the advertising of it. I I think yeah both Marion Switch. Not you know, incredibly bold statement, but I think they're both going to do incredibly well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and yeah, good times. Good times indeed. Um, our last story for this week, though, is not as cool one. Um, uh, definitely, what an interesting discussion point now. So recently, um, Nintendo have been clamping down on their review codes, and this is um, Nintendo of America, specifically. Um, and this uh, comes about because one of the review copies they sent out of uh, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga at Plus Bowser's Minions... Um, great game, by the way. Uh, great game. Uh, but the great realm of that great... Uh, yeah, but the, uh, the realm of that both great game and its great title... Uh, got leaked on, out onto the internet before the game's release, and it got tracked. Yes, it was one of these review copies, um, and so because of that, Nintendo seems to be reevaluating, re-reviewing, um, kind of the, the the relationship between them and anyone they give out review copies to, uh, which mm. is affected. It seems sounds like most um, at, um, review outlets. And um, I believe well, we've got someone on the panel here who can uh, it's smaller shed some light on it as well. Yeah, it's smaller outlets right now. You, the, the usual, as suspected, like um, certain YouTube personalities, like whether I and like IGN, GameSpot, uh, Polygon, and such. They're, I believe, they have their copies of Mario Odyssey already. It's smaller outlets that just don't. Um, I can say for quote, like the, the folks over that I know with pure Nintendo right now. Um, we, we don't have ours yet, I believe, at this point. Um, unless I was not told, but because um, I, I remember mentioning to the group, I was like, did you hear about this? And they were like, I guess that explains why we haven't received it. You know, usually for something like this, it's two weeks in a time to review. Yeah. But, no, from what I heard from this leak, though, from this guy, it was, a, it was from an influencer. So mm. that alone is just a little bit bo- bog, you know, just bothersome as well. But to me, it's just, this is just another one of the things that just, the, it hurts the smaller outlets. It just it, it, to me, whatever. But, it, but also, it's just from somebody of an idiot that just decides just to ruin it for everyone. You know, it's yeah. like you know what, I'm going to do this. But I feel like, I feel like this may be a temporary thing until things blows over. Hopefully, but uh, to me, it, it, it's frustrating, especially for people who I know who review games for a living. Yeah, you know, I think what their new price is going to be. They're going to add. Uh, an extra media outlet to each game, uh, and then, and then w- when the next game gets leaked, they go, ha. Oh, no, not that. Okay. <laughs> but now, from what I've heard, Nintendo actually knows who it was. Yeah. So hopefully, it will just be a case of like, okay, we got it sorted. I mean, it might they might have to wait a little while to build that trust back up. For uh, early retail copies or whatever, but uh, review copies. But um, yeah, yeah, I think it'll be. I think it'll be one of those things that blows over eventually. Um, Hopefully, so yeah. yeah. I mean, guess the, the other point to reiterate: this is Nintendo of America, so any European yeah. press as such um, isn't affected by this. We're fine. We're, we're golden. We, we, we would be if we got sent games from. We don't get sent games. <laughs> not not anymore. <laughs> uh, no. Not anymore. Wait, did we get one before? No. Um, well, what? Well, <laughs> no, we never. I, 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 I got this. My knowledge. No, we almost got there. Um, quite ironically, um, in the the last few months or so of Nintendo, I actually reworked the the relationship with the uh, uh, European, um, I guess, media for Nintendo, uh. Uh, and so they would. They would be sending us games. So you just you made sure as soon as we left the door, though, we're like, "Hey, the, the new people coming in." Um, <laughs> you, you were making sure you didn't burn. We, we no, no. We, we were, this was just us saying, "No, we weren't burning any bridges there with that." So no. <laughs> I had the opposite. In, if, if anything, we're building bridges, leaving them built yes. for people to travel across. Um, but unfortunately, <laughs> we're we're in a different district now, so the bridge is no use for us. That's that analogy. 
Yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, anything anyone else has got to add about this? Well, I do hope it actually blows over a little bit. But again, looking at this, this isn't a report, but it is from, as an example, affecting some of these outlets out here. Yeah. And I know that Bethesda had a similar thing that they were doing that, like, you were only going to get certain outlets get, like, review copies, like, a day or two or day release at the point, I, I have, uh, if I remember correctly. But uh, it's that relationship between the developer and the press that I feel like has to be make sure that like uh, not enemies of the sorts. And yes, um, for, for 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 Nintendo, like in this case, I I do hope it's just something that's temporary. And when you mentioned, I think Nintendo had found this person, whatever. Well, yeah, Nintendo being their legal team or the Nintendo ninjas, as I like to say, of course they're going to be swiftly and get towards them. And I hope he got what he deserved because a lot of these small outlets, <laughs> out the like small outlets deserve like need this. So, oh well. Yeah, no, don't. He should be named and shamed. Yeah. There you go. How, how do you appropriately name and shame such an individual, Colin? Um, they have to play Urban Champion on loop. Champion. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say like, like I was going to say something like Superman sixty four, but okay, yeah. No, no, no like I, I think that I think that type of uh, punishment, I think that type thing. of I think that type of punishment is outlawed by the the Geneva Convention. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. There you go. Yeah. Matt does it for the news, oh. and it's basically going to do it for this show. Yeah. Oh, that, that quickly. Um, that was your one. Yes, I know. Wow. Hmm. So hey, sometimes it's good to be concise. It, it is. is. We, had we, no do. Super top- we did have no super topic, but hey, but that's so that's true. That's yeah. right. Yeah, we got we got one to go through next time. Oh, well, mm-hmm. on that note, please do send in your super topics. Um, I did mention at the beginning of the show, so I'll keep this one brief. Patreon.com forward slash Nintendo Voice. Please do support us. Please do chuck us in uh, some super topic questions. Get them creative as well. That's fun on the show. Simple as that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And before we go, let's do our usual thing. Uh, we'll go around the three of us. We'll give out our contact details, how you can get hold of us, uh, and anything else we've been up to that we'd like to let you know. And Harrison, would you like to go first? Yeah, you can reach me on my new phone. Or well, <laughs> no, what's, what's your number? Uh, there's a radio. St- there's a radio station in my like a, like a radio show, whatever. It's like you have to answer like these really simple questions, like to you know to win a prize. Like whether it's like concert tickets okay. and stuff, and if you get this obviously easy answer wrong, you have to force to get your, your phone number out in the air. Uh, what? Yeah. So, um, but uh, but anyway, you can reach me. Oh, it's no. It's you can like, any oh, number. They, uh, they can't double check it, can they? I think when you call to the state. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it, yeah. So, um, no, no. But if you want to reach me, you can reach me at Twitter at h milfeld. And for you want to be switch friends, um, I have my uh, like as I say every week, I have my friend code pinned to the top of my profile, so you get there. What a beautiful friend code it is! It is a beautiful friend code. It's long and dire, and I don't know, <laughs> depressing. <laughs> wow, that's gonna sound very weird on the audio. No, <laughs> there's no visual cues to go with that. Um, however, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, folk you, you, well, folks can find me on Twitter at highly Um For things to plug, I have my streams. I stream every day at 6 p.m. UK time. So, yeah, you can find me there. Awesome. And I guess to add to that, um, I finally got around to adding um, Colin's streaming channel onto the featured channels Ooh. of there Nintendo Voice. So if you go to youtube.com forward slash Nintendo Voice, you can obviously subscribe to the Nintendo Voice channel. Uh, on the right-hand side on the featured channels, you also see Harley Bard, and you can watch his streams and his archives. Come join the party. Yeah. Mm. It's fun. Yeah, um, it's, it's, I think, worth adding. Um, you do have a setup now where you have the, the comments I as do. part of the stream itself. Yep. Um, and you've got some other... That's many for our archival you've got reasons. Your there as well. You got your your feed going. It's a bit. It's, it's more interactive, yeah. which is cool. I, I I try to get as interactive as possible. Indeed. Yeah. And then it's a fun show, appropriate for most ages. <laughs> Indeed. 
Yes, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Depends. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> See how it gets. Uh, for myself, uh, if you want to get hold of me, uh, you can on Twitter, assuming that's something you use. Uh, my Twitter name is Luvian, which is L E U V S I O N. And I don't really have anything to plug this week, so I'm not going to. Um, this is going to be the end of the show. So thanks once again for listening, and this has been uh, Nintendo Voice. Chat with you all soon. <laughs> this is fun, guys. All right. Yeah, get that Lego out of there. Oh, uh, there you go.